This is Will Lindsay Otten, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am absolutely thrilled to be speaking with the incredible corporate brand music director, founder and president of Musicpreneur. She is a judge of the Malaysia Music Industry Awards, the one and only from Malaysia, Serene Chiam. But before we get to our interview, here is a sneak peek at Serene in action. <laughs> Malaysia. Serene, it is so nice to meet you. You're an incredible talent. And I love the fact that not only are you an incredible artist, but you spread your knowledge to help kids of all ages discover the power that they have to go after their dreams. And we will get into all of that. But first, I want to talk a little bit about your lecturing because you go all over the world to do these lectures, whether it's transforming music into a career, reminding kids that they can do that. And also music is my source of income, which is not only part of your lecture, it is a book. So talk to me first a little bit about how you came about with the idea of music is my source of income. Okay, actually I started to learn music when I was four but I actually don't really enjoy about learning music as uh, I feel that it's, it's a very technical way of my learning process. And uh, eventually I come, when I come to, uh, when I was 15 years old, I met a teacher that uh, he actually teach in a very different way that made me suddenly like, I fell in love with music. That's why I think that being a music teacher is so important. And that's how I started to give myself a goal setting to be a music teacher uh, that I wanted to be a music teacher that it will be able to influence the young talents to be able to look further in music life instead of just uh, playing the piano or just learning those theories, things like that. And uh, that is how I actually started to go to uh, International College of Music and uh, I started my journey there, yeah. Incredible. And I'm also curious to know about your your, your work with M Center. Talk to us a little bit about what M Center is about in Malaysia and what you love so much about inspiring these young and up and coming musicians. Okay. Actually, M Center is a community of music schools. It's, everyone in this community is actually a principal. So they are the leaders of the music school. And the reason that I set up this M Center is because I feel that. Uh, to change the education of music edu uh, industry or music educations, uh, we should actually start with music school. Because by influencing the music school and the principals uh, to make them to be able to uh, follow the trend of the music industry or they get the most updated info about uh, things like NFT, VR teachings, things like that, it will actually help uh, the teachers to actually uh, be more uh, 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 knowledgeable on the music trend. And thus, this will help them on uh, supporting the kids or the young talents even further. So for me, I don't think that teaching students one by one alone, it will, it will satisfy my music career anymore. I would like to go further. And I do think that it's not just about teaching, but it's about influencing life. Yeah. Serene, you're absolutely incredible. I wish that there were more Serenes in the world. <laughs> um, I just think it's so beautiful too that not only are you inspiring these young artists, but as an artist yourself, you've gotten to collaborate 
with many musical artists. I'm curious to know, are there any musical artists that you've collaborated with in particular that you enjoyed most? Actually, I do work with a lot of musicians in my country, as well as some of uh, the musicians in Hong Kong and Taiwan as well. Uh, however, uh, my focus and goal is to support the young talents and the new or fresh talent that they, they just started with music and they have uh, no direction on their music career. Because in local, I don't know how about uh, other countries, but I have done some survey that uh, in local, most of the musicians, they, they play music or they learn music because their parents say so, or their teachers uh, lead them in a way that they should learn music in a disciplined way. But however, I think that uh, music should be very creative. It should be learning in a very crazy way. So I do support young talents that uh, they feel that they do not want to go with the proper way of music learning, but they feel like composing, creating something new, uh, writing something that is influential to the, in the, uh, to the society. So these are the people that I'm focusing on. I do not really focusing on a uh, well-built or developed musician because I think these are the people that they already can take care of themselves. So I am very clear with my goal setting and that's the reason I built up the uh, music school community. Yeah. Oh my God, Serene, you were, you were, I have chills. You were such, <laughs> you were such a beautiful light in a vessel of an artist that is, I mean, in essence, you've sacrificed any sort of personal acclaim to uplift the future, the future serenes of the world. You know, I'm sure in these amazing speeches and lectures that you give all over from China to Korea, to Taiwan, to Malaysia, um, I'm sure you get a lot of questions from, from, from these young musicians. Are there any questions in particular you find a lot of musicians have or maybe some concerns they have? I think the, the most question always they, they have in mind is how do I actually make money? You see a lot of people that they upload their songs in the YouTube or even in Facebook, but how do they actually monetize that? So that is why I came into this uh, industry and I will be very focusing on the topic of copyrights. Because music is not about the masterpiece or the beautiful piece of music. It's also about how the songs could influence other people at the same time it monetizes. So for musicians, if uh, a lot of musicians say, if I would like to focus on the art, it's very difficult for me to focus on the entrepreneurship. I agree with that. But then I always uh, encourage them to actually know something about music business and know about entrepreneurship not because I want you to be an entrepreneur, but I wish everyone, uh, every musician can know a bit of this so that they know how to work with other people. So the, the goal is not to make yourself an entrepreneur, it's know the entrepreneurship and know how to work with people. Yeah. Serene, I'm learning so much just from speaking with you today. And <laughs> what, I, what I love about this as well, Serene, is I think this is just perfect timing for you to come on board as a global artist ambassador for this incredible new social media app, Phoenix 360. One of goals, one of the main goals of the building of this incredible social media app is for artists to not only have a safe space to connect, to collaborate, yeah. to share their music and their yeah. process, but to make money off money, of yeah. their art. I just know Serene, you have touched me a director in New York City today, I know that there are already thousands of young artists on this app who will be inspired by not only your story, but what you have to offer. And um, that's just me rambling. I'm just so excited that you're coming on board <laughs> this app. Yeah, now. the reason actually I, I uh, uh, wanted to do this uh, session with you is also because I do uh, believe that musicians nowadays, they are very talented with the supports of technologies, you see. But how could they actually monetize their music, especially with the technology of blockchain? So I think this one is very important for a lot of musicians to understand. Uh, crypto or NFT, it, it, it doesn't really talk about 
Bitcoin, you know, it's about the blockchain technology that actually support a lot of musicians to protect your own uh, copyright or even actually uh, value your own assets. That's what we want to share with uh, most of the musicians out there. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, Serene, it is so great to meet you. I am so, again, excited that you're coming on board yeah. as a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360. And I'm Thank just so excited so that here we are. You're in Malaysia. I'm in New York City. And we're yeah. connected. 